I'm Erin Conrad. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from Two Works For You. New this afternoon, the state announcing more than 850 new positive cases of COVID-19. The new cases bringing the rising total to nearly 66,000 Oklahomans diagnosed with the virus since March. Meanwhile, there are nine additional deaths being reported across the state. Three of those here in Tulsa County. 863 Oklahomans have died since the start of the pandemic. And a new free space for students to distance learn opens up today. The Zone Learning Center usually offers before and after school educational programs, but the center received two grants from the city of Tulsa and can now offer their space to students whose parents need to work during the day. We just understood that if children are going to be at home doing distance learning and parents have to go to work, Who's going to be there to monitor that child to make sure that they stay focused while that teacher is pouring their heart out on that computer screen? The program can last eight weeks with its current funding. If you'd like to volunteer your time, sign up your child, or donate to the Zone Learning Center program, the contact information is posted on our website, kjrh.com. All right, let's get a look at that forecast. All right, thank you very much, Aaron. Feeling like fall for us this afternoon. Temperatures going to be in the upper 60s. More rain pushes in late afternoon, heading into the evening hours. We stay unseasonably cool Thursday, Friday, mid to upper 60s. Still more rain chances, but the rain will push out by the weekend, warming back in the 80s, and then in quite a few 80s heading into next week. All right, that's a look at some of the stories making headlines today. Stay with Two Works for You for the latest updates all throughout the day. I'm Aaron Conrad. Two Works for You.